When hundreds of hostile missiles fill the night sky, Israel does not panic. It calculates within seconds, invisible shields activate, radars lock onto threats, and interceptors race upward faster than sound. The explosions that follow are not attacks, but defenses, silent victories unfolding high above the earth. For most of the world, this is an unseen war, but for Israel, it's a constant reality. Every incoming missile is a test, every interception a matter of survival. And while most people have heard of the famous Iron Dome or the powerful Arrow 3, few truly understand the complexity that lies beyond them. What protects Israel from drones, cruise missiles, and hypersonic threats that move faster and think smarter? What kind of technology builds an invisible wall strong enough to stop destruction before it touches the ground? Today, we're going inside Israel's secret missile shield to uncover what exists beyond Arrow 3 and why it's unlike any other defense network on Earth. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this deep dive, we'll explore how Israel's multi-layer missile defense operates like a living organism, fast, adaptive, and incredibly precise. This system is not a single weapon, it's a collection of technologies that talk to each other in real time. It begins at the ground level with the Iron Dome guarding cities from short-range rocket fire, moves up to the David Sling that neutralizes medium-range ballistic and cruise missiles, and then ascends to the Arrow family, which strikes threats coming from hundreds of miles away, even outside Earth's atmosphere. Each layer serves as both a shield and a backup, ensuring that no missile slips through the cracks. T together, they form one of the most sophisticated defensive webs ever built by human hands. From the outside, Israel's missile defense system looks like a combination of launch pads, radar antennas, and command centers scattered across hills, deserts, and coastlines. But the real magic happens in the sky, when a radar detects a potential threat, powerful algorithms calculate its trajectory within milliseconds. The system determines whether the projectile will hit a populated area or fall harmlessly into open ground. Only if it poses real danger will an interceptor launch, conserving resources while guaranteeing protection. This selective intelligence is what gives the system its efficiency and unmatched reliability. Each missile, whether from Iron Dome or Arrow 3, is guided by advanced sensors and radar data that adjust its path mid-flight, allowing it to destroy incoming threats with pinpoint accuracy. Inside the control rooms, operators monitor glowing radar screens, but much of the work has already been done by artificial intelligence. Data from multiple radars and satellites is fused into a single image of the sky, Computers communicate across every layer of defense, coordinating intercepts at lightning speed. When an enemy launches multiple missiles at once, a saturation attack, the system's AI prioritizes targets automatically, assigning the most appropriate interceptor for each one. It's a digital battlefield fought at the speed of light, where milliseconds determine victory or disaster. Performance is what defines the success of Israel's shield. The Iron Dome has been tested in countless real world conflicts and has achieved success rates that astonish military analysts, often exceeding 90%. Each Tamir interceptor costs tens of thousands of dollars, but can save entire neighborhoods from destruction. David Sling, a joint Israeli-American creation, extends the protection radius even further. It is capable of taking out heavy rockets, cruise missiles, and tactical ballistic threats that Iron Dome cannot reach. Then comes Arrow 2 and Arrow 3, the true crown jewels of Israel's long-range defense. Arrow 3 is designed to intercept ballistic missiles while they are still in space before they can re-enter the atmosphere. It travels at hypersonic speeds and uses kinetic impact, hitting the target head on without an explosive warhead. This hit to kill technology leaves no debris or residual threat, making it both clean and precise. Safety is not just about stopping missiles, it's about creating redundancy 
Israel's defense network operates in layers for a reason. If one system fails, another immediately takes its place. If Iron Dome cannot intercept a projectile, David's sling is ready. If, if that fails, Arrow 2 or Arrow 3 takes the shot. The result is a defense structure where every level overlaps the next, ensuring that even during massive attacks, there is always one more line of protection. Civil defense systems also integrate into this network, alerting the population through mobile warnings, sirens, and apps that give civilians just enough time to seek shelter. This coordination between human readiness and machine precision defines why Israel's missile shield is often described as the most battle tested in the world. But what makes this defense truly unique lies beyond the Arrow 3, Israel is already developing the next generation of interceptors, including the Arrow 4, a system designed to deal with faster, more unpredictable ballistic missiles that may change direction mid-flight. The Arrow 4 will use advanced sensors, improved data links, and more flexible interception algorithms. It's built not just to defend Israel, but to prepare for a future where hypersonic and maneuvering re-entry vehicles become the new norm in warfare. And then there's Iron Beam, a completely different approach to defense. Instead of firing rockets, Iron Beam uses concentrated laser energy to burn through targets at the speed of light. It can take down drones, mortars, and short-range rockets within seconds, silently and almost invisibly. Each laser shot costs only a few dollars compared to tens of thousands for traditional interceptors. Once fully deployed, Iron Beam will revolutionize short-range air defense by combining low cost with instant response. While the technology may seem futuristic, it comes with a price tag that reflects its sophistication. Each interceptor missile from Iron Dome costs between 40,000 odd and 60,000. A single David Sling missile can exceed $1 million. The Arrow 3 interceptor costs several million dollars per launch. But when the cost of a single missile is compared to the potential destruction of a city, the investment becomes non-negotiable. Israel allocates billions every year to research, development, and maintenance of these systems. The U.S. has contributed substantial funding and technological support as part of their joint defense cooperation. These investments are not just about Israel's national defense. They're about advancing missile technology that could eventually protect other nations as well. The shield's effectiveness was recently demonstrated when Israel faced coordinated missile and drone attacks from multiple directions. In a matter of minutes, hundreds of incoming projectiles were detected, tracked, and intercepted before they reached populated areas. The world watched as nearly the entire attack was neutralized in real time. This moment proved that Israel's multi-layered defense wasn't just a concept. It was a living system capable of adapting to modern warfare, but it also exposed the challenges of cost and sustainability. Launching so many interceptors in such a short time creates logistical and financial strain. That is why systems like Iron Beam and next generation interceptors are critical. They promise to maintain protection while reducing the burden of constant resupply. Beyond the physical defenses, there is also a psychological layer. For a nation that lives under the constant threat of attack, these systems represent more than technology, they symbolize security and deterrence. Every successful interception sends a message that no matter how advanced the threat, Israel's defenses are one step ahead. It's this mindset this relentless pursuit of innovation that drives the country's defense industry, Israel Aerospace Industries, Rafael, and other companies continue to refine sensors, radars, and command systems that make these defenses more autonomous and more integrated with allied forces. The ultimate goal is a seamless global defense grid where data from satellites, radars, 
and aircraft can be shared instantly to detect and neutralize threats anywhere on the planet. The interior of Israel's command centers is designed for efficiency and clarity. Screens display trajectories, status updates, and weather conditions that might affect radar performance. Operators remain calm, even during attacks, because the system has already analyzed the threat and proposed the best interception plan. Humans supervise, but machines execute. It's a delicate balance of automation and human judgment, a partnership built on trust in the algorithms that have saved countless lives. The atmosphere inside is focused, not fearful. Every blip on the radar is treated as a challenge to be solved, a puzzle where timing and precision are everything. Ultimately, Israel's missile shield is more than a defensive tool. It's a philosophy. It represents the idea that defense can be proactive, intelligent, and constantly evolving. In an era where missiles can travel faster, fly lower, or evade radar entirely, Israel's response is not just to build bigger weapons, but to build smarter ones. The country's engineers and defense experts are pushing toward a future where AI, lasers, and hypersonic interceptors create an impenetrable web of protection. It's a race between offense and defense, but so far, Israel's innovation is winning. From a distance, the missile shield appears as silent flashes of light in the sky, brief moments of brilliance that fade into darkness. Yet behind each one is a network of technology, human skill, and determination that keeps an entire nation safe. Beyond Arrow 3 lies a world of, of evolving defense, faster, stronger, and more precise than ever before. It's not just about stopping threats, it's about ensuring survival through innovation. The lesson from Israel's shield is clear in modern warfare. Victory belongs not to those who strike first, but to those who can never be struck.